I was first drawn to the stars as a kid looking up at the night sky from my backyard in awe. I got my first telescope when I was 12. It was hard to use and I didn't know how to find things in the sky very well. I saved up money and bought a 10 inch reflector when I was 16 years old. By the time I was 19, I was pretty good at star hopping with my finder scope to find many objects in the sky. I did uh, a little bit of imaging with film in those days, but it was mostly just with a camera and a tripod. When I was 16, I got a 10 inch telescope and my love of astronomy got deep quickly. I read astronomy magazines, astronomy books. I got very involved with the local astronomy club and studied math and science in school. With astrophotography, I can capture an image of a nebula or galaxy and take it home and enjoy it almost whenever I want on my phone or through the internet. It's very rewarding to think I made that and I know every step in the process, even though I see multiple things that I would like to improve on. I enjoy getting to know people and talking and learning about astro-imaging equipment and image processing. I also enjoy learning about other common interests we may have and getting to know people better when we're away on a camp out. It's also fun to go back and think about the image that I've taken and what it means, how it came to be. Is it part of stars being born or part of a star that exploded thousands and thousands uh, of years ago? Or, you know, just, just what is it? How did it come to be? I have some great memories and continue to make new ones today. Looking back, I remember the people I met and the feelings I had better than any view through the telescope. Astrophotography is a wonderful hobby. You can start with just a camera, a lens, and a tripod. No telescope is needed. That's where I started.